the invitation came from English National Ballet and then I was sent quite a lot of clips of Andrea's work and I, I was just knocked out. Her use of the body as the temperament of the body, the behaviour of the body, as a, a thing that folds and opens up, all those qualities which we equate with emotional behaviour as well, is, was I found quite e extraordinary and very much attracted me to this. Artists who work with emotional language are actually in very vulnerable positions because they maybe don't have big theoretical manifestos up their sleeve. You know? And I certainly don't. And I, I rec sort of recognize sort of a kindred spirit in that respect. And I began to think about Andrea's brilliant notion that Les Nos followed on from the Rite of Spring. So we'd had this savage, brutal sacrifice and in a way, what is left after that? <laughs> and to try and pick that up in the form of this marriage, which for me becomes a kind of metaphor for trying to fix or trying to mend something, to bring opposing forces maybe together, unite them. When Stravinsky wrote it, and what was about to happen during the 1920s and 30s and 40s, you know, it's like laying out the history before it's happened. So I think it's powerful. And I know the words all come from, I think, Russian folk songs. They're very strange, quite macabre, actually. I'm very attracted to the dark side of things. Dark sides tend to show vulnerability. They tend to show a kind of world beyond the gloss. One wants to be able to look at the world as it is rather than through a kind of veiled propaganda. And I think that the, the dark side of Les Nos is a real reflection of where joy meets grief, again, these opposites. The latest one is a kind of ruined amphitheater. So the sort of step thing, I hope, the chorus and the dancers can perform on. I'll also have this tangled bundle hanging from the ceiling. I hope it provides a vehicle for Andrea, their sculptures, but they can be manipulated and used in any way that people want to. I'm still very interested in this idea of sculpture as a theatrical experience the theatre of sculpture and the space which it tries to occupy as being stage-like in some way. For me, we are the moving thing with sculpture. The movement and how we move around sculptural objects, how we are choreographed by the space which sculptural objects occupy and in a way it is something to do with how the body, the physical living body meets the static still body and how the negotiation with that walking around it coming up close to it what that encounter establishes i know there's a lot of kinetic and a lot of moving and a lot of performance art that in a way relates very closely to sculpture but I think the movement aspect of its especially contemporary dance has an affinity with sculptural language. <laughs>